What up? It's your boy Nick from MMA Pixels here with Nigel Archer. Nigel has a big fight coming up January 6, 209 Beatdown 4 against Mike Tubera. How are you doing, Nigel? I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself, man? I'm doing great, man. Thank you for asking. Cool. Uh, I want to say thank you for your service. I know you're a member of the Air Force, correct? Yes, sir. I am. I appreciate that. Uh, how long have you been in? I've been in for about five years now. Oh, wow. So you started fighting after you were already in the military? Yes, sir. I started fighting once I got pitched out at Kazi. Okay. And I started with jiu-jitsu, and then I picked it up from there. How long were you doing jiu-jitsu before you started MMA? <clears throat> Probably about a year, year and a half, maybe. Okay. And you still current? Do you uh, compete at all in jiu-jitsu now? Um... I haven't competed as much as I'd like to this year, but I usually try to compete a couple times a year. Uh, Worlds was probably the biggest thing I did last year. And, uh, yeah, I, I really like, I just like competing, period. Whether it's jiu-jitsu, wrestling, anything like that, I just like competing. Were you a wrestler in high school? Uh, yes. I wrestled in high school first, just all through high school and went to states and did all that stuff. So it was, I just like competing. Once I started wrestling, that was it. After that, I stopped pretty much everything else. I used to play soccer and tennis and track. And once I started doing like individual like combat sports, that was pretty much it for me. And uh, obviously, they they don't have an issue with it, but uh, there was no never a problem with you being in the service and and fighting. Uh, they want us fit to fight, so <laughs> see why why. But I check out with my commanders and stuff like that, and. They're actually all for it, which is, which is pretty good for me so that my uh, my supervision and everything supports me and they, they work with me whenever I have like so I can get off those times and have time to recover and train and do all that. Yeah, I'm sure that, that helps out a lot, um, you know, not having maybe the strict uh, exercise program that they're doing because you have your own, you know. Right. I still, I, still do, I still do regular PT with everybody else. Still have to take my fitness test and everything else, like everyone. But I just do my stuff on top of that. Do you guys do uh, combatives in the Air Force? Certain. So for the Air Force, it's a little bit different. Certain um, career fields need combatives. Mine doesn't because I'm an aircraft maintenance, so I don't need to know combatives. But uh, like security forces and other people like that do 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 combatives. <laughs> Where do you train at currently? I train at uh, Fabio Prado. Uh, who are some of your training partners? Uh, training partners, they, sometimes I'll get strike in with Lucas. Fabio coaches me very heavily, and so does Andre Galvan. Uh, there's very tough market. Somebody else who's fought, Adrian, he's fighting uh, this weekend. I can't remember the promotion, but a lot of guys help me out. In, in the gym, so and then some people are injured now, but they still help me coaching. And AJ, he's out competing at Worlds this weekend, which is nice. So a lot of jujitsu people that are there to help me and get some striking in as well. Will there ever be a time where you'll have to change a duty station? Um, yeah, there will be a time eventually. I'm sure it'll come. Right now, it's just like deployment. So, I think two years ago, I had to miss out for a little while for deployment. Um, I just found out that I will be leaving probably shortly after this fight to go to Korea. So, and then after that, I'll come back here. But I will, like, so it's hard. That's the hardest part about training right now is when I have to leave for those periods of time. Because recently, I was also gone for a couple of months prior to this. I guess training camp, and uh, yeah, that's just the hardest part is having to leave or just go whenever whenever they call or a mission comes up. Right, right. It's always mission right. first. I know. Um, yeah, it, Korea. The MMA scene's uh, getting bigger. I was there in uh, 2001. Uh, <laughs> they were really yeah. big on Taekwondo, but now I, I know MMA is getting pretty big over there. So hopefully, you'll be able to yeah, find well, find a gym. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, while I'm out there, I get to at least get a fight in. I know I'll be doing some stuff for sure out there, but like my main thing, I would really like to fight it overseas. That'll be real nice and eye-opening, I guess, to get like people from different countries. 
when do you do you think you'll ever turn pro? Yeah, I would. I really want to right now. That that's probably the only hiccup with the military because we have a different medical insurance and stuff like that. So the only thing that I've, I'm working on now is trying to get my uh, once they clear my MRI. So once they clear for me to have an MRI, then I'll I'll go with that and take that route, or maybe just go pro in Korea and then come back and continue once I come back. Did you do anything special for to prepare for Mike to Barrett? Um, I don't, I don't really do anything special to prepare for anybody. I just, I just like to, I guess, fight. So I train with what I know and with the people that I have here and what their expertise is, and I listen to them, and usually it works out for me. So whatever my coaches say, I need to work on and do. That's what I do. The last couple, I I got a little bit antsy and took fights. I just kind of short notice and out of my weight class. Besides the last fight that I had, but previous before those are at 135, and I'm not even. I think I walk around on a heavy, heavy day with no training, maybe at like 134. So I'm a smaller guy and fighting at 135, a little bit more than I can handle. So I lost those, and that happens. But I like to fight, so. Uh, I, I like the challenge of it, so it happens. You lose times and just go from there. Right, and uh, Mike's coming off a fresh off a victory, I believe, uh, last month or earlier this month. I'm, I'm excited yeah. for it. I, I'm I'm going to be there. I'll be watching. Yeah, that'll be cool. Like, I, I'm getting some training in. I have a little bit of time off now because I just got off of a mission recently. I was, some people were trying to get a hold of me for this fight, like the, the promoters and stuff, and it was kind of hard because I was out doing doing a mission at the time. But now I'm back and I'm able to train and I have time to train all day and do whatever I need to do. So looking forward to it. And this is more time than I usually get for my last couple of fights. 209 beatdown for January 6th, Stockton Memorial Civic Auditorium. Nigel Archer taking on Mike Tabera. Thank you very much, Nigel. Thank you for having me.